Good morning, it's Denise here, Junk Journals, no, Junk Journals UK. I am um, just popping on for a quick video with you um, just to embellish some Christmas tags and things for um, a future Christmas journal. So I know I'm in the middle of creating Christmas Botanicals journal and I will be back with that um, if not tomorrow then the day after. I don't know how long I won't be filming. So hello and welcome everybody. Um, if you've just joined me it's lovely to have you here, thank you. Um, but you won't know. Um, I'm having a couple of days off filming because I, um, I recently lost my dad for a couple of weeks ago now and um, it, it's time for his funeral, celebration of life. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have a couple of days off so I think when this one is aired that will be that day. Um, and I may be back the next day filming, but if not, I have got a couple of short, short videos just to pop up so you don't forget me. Um, yeah, so we will be finishing that Christmas botanical one. So if you've popped on hoping to see that, it's still around. It's still sitting here. Here it is. Look, still sitting here on my desk. Um, it's not going anywhere until I film it with you. But I have got um, more. Shall I give you a sneak peek or not? Just a quick teaser. Yeah, I've got more things in the pipeline. Um, already playing with a few bits so I thought I'd make I'm going to do um, a predominantly red red-ish journal next um, well I'm going to do a couple so I'm going to do a, a December daily and I'm going to do a red Christmas journal so whoops I've used mostly uh, the green ephemera in the botanical journal that I'm currently on with um, so I'm going to use some of these red papers now so the things, if you've been with me before, the tags um, I've made during the, the last few videos. So these, yeah, they're all backed. So I'm just going to make them into, um, I'm just going to embellish them and ink them round because they're going to need sewing, um, which they will be when you next see them. I've made this a, a while ago. I'm going to put some journaling spot in that and just an embellishment on there. I'm thinking if I get time, I'll put an embellishment on that as well, make that ready for the journal. And then I've got these, and I don't know if I'll get to these or not, um, but I'd like to use them up and get them off my desk, if only covering them ready. You know, sort of flip ups, flip outs, whatever. They're quite a thick cards, so I don't want anything too thick on them, but I have got a sheet of the paper from the kit by Nanine at Collage Type. Now, if you haven't seen me do this, seen me show you these, there is, I think there are eight red and eight green if I, my memory serves me correctly and they're, they're like generic Christmassy papers that you can add to any other Christmas kit particularly Nanine's because the colours all blend really well um, I think they're rustic Christmas papers or country Christmas papers I never can remember but it is always in my description so just pop on and, and have a look if you're looking for them so I've got a page of that left so I haven't dug lots of stuff out I'm going to quickly ink these even though they may be may be cut down and um, well they'll definitely be sewn but they the size oh sorry the sizes may change I don't know um, yeah so it will only be a little a little video today I don't want to do anything that needs a lot of a lot of brain power or you know that uh, that I can make a mess of um, I am I'm crafting because I enjoy it. I'm crafting because it's uh, stress busting at the busting, busting at the moment. So um, you know it is sit, it's uh, nice to sit here and just play with the papers for 20 minutes, half an hour, as long as it is just you know easy, nothing too tricky, nothing I've got to think about. So these are this is the perfect time to do these because I've been sat waiting. Let's get them the right way up because they have got writing on them. Yeah, so these are from, for those of you that didn't see it, these are all from pages um, that I've just been talking about, that kit from the Neen that I've just been talking about. Did I do the front and not the backs? And I've just backed them on some uh, coffee dyed paper from ooh, the beginning of the summer. So it's been sitting around a long time. So it's time that was used up as well. Um, yeah, and I have to say, it's really... Uh, cheering me up getting the Christmas bits and pieces out so these lovely um, images that I'm going to put on here today yeah they will they will cheer me a little bit so 
it's a um, very overcast day here today i'm in lincolnshire in the in the uk if you've not heard me say that at the beginning of every other um video i don't know why i've got this green mat here well i do i've been cutting i don't know why i've left it here so i've just grabbed a few things that i like to look of I'm, I'm liking these tall um christmassy characters i've got glue all over me look yep yeah, well, i'll link those as well even this is uh calming yeah so i'm thinking of just putting one one of these large characters on each of the tags and then seeing if it needs i don't want them overly fussy um a lot of my christmas journals are they're fussy papers because they're the kind of kits that call to me <laughs> colorful and lots of decoration on so i don't want to make these and these are quite fussy aren't they so don't make, make the tags too fussy but they, they might need a label or a word we'll see we'll see as we go and there is your train <laughs> if you're with me regularly you'll know you always have at least one train while i'm filming there's today's okay i'd like to say again i said yesterday but i'd like to say again thank you to everybody who's sending their their wishes and the hugs and best wishes i should say thank you guys very much appreciated it's lovely to know you're out there supporting me and waiting for me it uh, it'll be nice when things have moved on a little bit i know we shouldn't rush our lives on but it'll be nice when i get time to sort my new craft room out and uh, you know sit here and not have a thousand things on my mind of things we've got to do i suppose we can all say that though life's a bit like that isn't it let's not get philosophical today so i did think um yes i did think i'd like him on there just he just called to me straight away but um where's all my little bits and bobs just bear with me a tick of course they're right behind me have <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, that was me dragging a table over that I thought the bits and bobs were on, and they're not. Let's have a look in here. Oh, well, what I was after was some little labels, and there's plenty in here, so these will do. I've got some words there. Or do I want... Oh, look, these are from the kit. Although they might be a little bit too... Oh, that's nice let's try some plainish ones yes oh we've got that lovely ticket i've used a bit that i like um oh and that lovely a right what we're gonna have on here if anything um, i really really love that ticket i have put it on quite a few things already but yeah i'm liking it um no nope. i like those abcs as well let's just try was there a smaller version of that ticket i think there was right yeah i was just going to try a word but i think i like that christmas fair admit one yeah i think i'm going to go with that actually it's uh, pointless looking for things it looks inked to that as well it is pointless looking for things when you found something you like isn't it um yeah and i think what i'll do is just put some journaling paper inside this until i decide where it's going down because it could go down flat then as a, as a flip out which yeah probably will be what happens um, but I'm thinking it could be sewn into the middle of a signature in which case I might want something on the back as well right are we going to have him over or under I think he needs to be over doesn't it I might need a catch on it yep. laying flat okay so yeah I hope we're all well and getting some crafting in I can't believe how quick it's it's hurtling towards Christmas you know we've, we've got about five weeks 
maybe a bit more might be frightening you there but i have a feeling it's not much more than five weeks to christmas um yeah and i've definitely got three journals if not more to do and then um, i was thinking after christmas i'm going to do a, a little bit of a well obviously i'll be sorting out my room etc i'm going to do a bit of a finishing off and moving on projects that i've started and you know i've got things that are like 90 percent done i've got things that are like 10 percent started yeah i like that let's not mess about then let's get some paper on the inside if i can find some i can oh try not to throw it on the floor so what do i want do i want a square just quite like that shape i think i'm going to go for torn round because where does that go yeah i'm not making it square then if you know what i mean it, it, it will still echo to some degree i'm hoping the shape of the actual card itself whoops yes that's a strange I didn't intend to make them both identical either it could be a bit small it'd be a bit harder to write on there anyway what do we think don't know if I like it I don't think I do so what do I want in there to write on and else it'll be used up um hmm want some lighter but Christmas paper don't I? I'm wondering about this now, some of this. What about a great big circle? Let's see what a big punched out circle will look like. So this is two and a half inch and I want it right honourable. Now this punch does like it thicker and I want two so I'm thinking, gosh I am on brain power today thinking if I fold it over and cut two like that and again I may not use these but we always use circles don't we for something if not for this yeah looks like a snowman oh shall we just go with one and something under them not an awful lot of writing there though is there Oopsie. Hmm. Suppose two. Let me just try a square of this for the other one. Oh. Not very square, was it? What I'm thinking is if I. Uh, certainly different yeah and then maybe if I stamp some when I do the stamping bit I could put some uh, bells or holly or whatever stamped in this yeah that's a good idea it will uh, it will change it completely that's a funny noise isn't it Maybe I'll put words at the top, I don't know. I must keep my on the uh, on the time. Because I haven't got long, I have got to go and yeah, do some things. Do some things that need to be done uh, in regards to the ceremony tomorrow well today if you're watching last minute things that couldn't be done till today so do I like that cross there? I do but I'm supposed to leave him room for 
writing, aren't I? I don't think I've got an oblongy one that would. I think they all go the other way. Yeah. Just may have one more look at this little chap. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna tear it and still make it legible. Is the question. a lump on there, that's better. Looks better. Let's do the top as well. Yeah, I'm very quiet today. It is uh, later on in the afternoon as well, so um, energy levels not where they would be first thing in the morning. You see, if I was watching of someone else doing this, I would be saying to them, if you like it, put it on. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And now I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if anyone will like that. It looks a bit strange. I'm going to put it on. I'm thinking, I probably shouldn't share this with you, but I'm thinking if I really don't like it, when I come back to it, I don't have to use it. And I might just love it. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. I love the front of it anyway. I'm going to leave it at that and then yeah, come back to it with fresh mind and uh, see what I think. Right, I want to at least get these three done. Um, yeah, and time is cracking on already, would you believe? So um, let's choose some of these. Got to have Santa, haven't we? And I love this young lady, so who needs to be... <laughs> they just go anywhere, don't they? I like them on any one. What do we think? Can you see all those? Yep. Do we want them all at the bottom? Yes, I think I do because I might make them tab shaped at the top. And I believe I have, I think, to round these. Oh, I think I did it at the beginning of the video, didn't I? While I was chattering to you. So we've seen the squirrel today. Me and my hubby was sat here having a cuppa. And uh, yeah, he had a big piece of bread in his uh, in his mouth, so he's obviously been uh, helping himself at somebody's bird table. I'm guessing. You no, know, people do put bird uh, bread out for the birds, don't they? That'll certainly give him a fat belly, won't it? <laughs> Not sure it's an ideal. Uh, oh, he's got close to the edge there, Denise. Goodness. Not sure it's an ideal lunch for a squirrel, but. I guess needs must. <laughs> Winter's coming. He'll probably have indigestion if squirrels have such thing. <laughs> Oops. Let's put her on straight. Should have my cloth out really, shouldn't I? yeah I'm thinking I was thinking did they need book page or something like that under them which often things do when you put them on the you know onto paper for decoration but I th I'm thinking that the uh, there is bits of text on these pages uh, you know the backing pages I'm thinking the backing pages are doing the work for me a little bit so they are standing, you know, standing proud because there is a, a layering effect from from the the paper itself. So that saved me saved me a job. Now I'm thinking I would like a word on the top of each and then make them tag, uh, you know, into tag shaped tags. So let's have a look at all these Cheer cheerful Santa is. Let me just drag the words out of here. I'll show you what I'm doing. ones there. They might be nice on them, we'll have a look. Stocking. <laughs> Should have had that on there, shouldn't I? Oh, and there's one that says Santa Claus, so there's another one of those. Family. No, don't like it on that red paper. Oh. 
pain in my leg. I need to move. I sat here too long. Right, where were all those words? Here. Let's have them out of the little packet. So we've got Santa Claus. Do we want him up on that or not? I don't know. Dinner. My sharp up recipes. Christmas Eve. Nice. Gingerbread photos, gifts, cookies. Snowfall. Feast. Giving. Oh, goodness me. Naughty. We won't put naughty on any of them. Shopping. Do you think she might be shopping? She might be, right. So we've got Christmas Eve all nice. I'll just pop them over here because it will be fiddly getting them into there. Um, I wonder what one of them looks like on here. I wonder what Santa looks like on there. No. Quite liked it on this, so let me just ink this up and take those corners out. Oops. Come on. Um, maybe if I had a little bit of stamping in the background of this. So what stamp have I got here? I've got a Christmas stamp here. Um, oh gosh, it sounds vicious that little dog, doesn't it? I'm assuming it's just playing with a ball or something, but... Oh, where's my Christmas doll? No, I've had it this morning as well now. Come on, do you think? Oh, it's going to be one of those. Oh, is it in there? No. I've got a stamp in there, but I've got a holly stamp. Oh, that's flowers. No, I haven't. They've been... Ah, aha, look what I found. Snowflakes, they'll do nicely. I'll get on a piece of this. What have I done with it? Were you watching me? Is that it? Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if I want colourful. What, what colours I've got? I've not got many. Green. Green snowflakes. No, not really. Um, I'm probably driving you mad like I'm driving me mad. I'm looking for my gold ink and I haven't had it for a long time. I'm trying to think where it might be. Uh, that's blue, which is no good whatsoever. Where is gold? How very annoying. Hmm. Well, I haven't got time to go look for it right now. It's even more annoying. I'm just going to put some black ones on in the background. Oh, unless, I mean, there's a bit of gold still on there. Are they going to come off? Uh, they're coming out black and gold together. Yes, I think that dog might be on the fence right next to me. I mean, they're not going to show under this much, are they? Oh, there's one. A smudgy one. So that stays on so that it um, black stays on. Hmm, did I ink that? Make it a bit darker. I'm thinking maybe just make the corners, whatever that is, make it a lozenge shape, trim the corners, just so the shape's a bit more interesting like the, the back of the, the backing ticket. Do we want him on straight or at an angle is next? Go across there. Put him on at an angle, why not? Oh, left the lid off me. My glue and it's getting a little bit not wanting to come out, whatever that word is. We want it quite up high as well. So it can be a tall tag this one. That 
dog next door um, I did leave it the other day it were, and it howled for hours and hours I could hear it you know that howling that dogs do when they've been left cut like calling the, uh, the family together it doesn't look right does it without the I don't, I don't think I want it quite that tall but let's get an idea for the shape of it that's it and then cut it down across there a bit that's better that's a better shape a lot better yeah when that's got a hole in it and some I think maybe some gold thread through it that's going to be really nice yes please with him okay so we'll do the same with this one just uh, for a bit of continuity or I don't know give it a bit of something and ink it I think I might leave this one square I don't know why I just do yep yeah I'm looking forward to doing another I've loved doing the botanicals and obviously I'm still doing it I'm looking forward to doing another another traditional one with all the uh, the Santas and the Prezzies and the yeah all right shall we make her square that would be different as well wouldn't it just hope she's not too big I'll put it too close to the top in case I have to trim it down to fit in the in the journal somewhere yeah but I think she might look nice as a square as opposed to him as a tag yeah and I may Dependent, oops, sorry, depending on where it's going, I may just put some uh, stickles or glitter in there. Right, let's try and get this last one done. I am, um, I'm not going to be able to cover those because I need to go in about five minutes. And I don't even think I want one of those on there. What do I want on it? What else did we come up with? Embellishment wise, no. Was there something underneath? Oh, that. There's a tray of little things. Another admit one. Excuse me. Decorate. Make a little cluster with that. Um, music, no. Sorry, I've got it all away from you so you can't see. Yeah, I was just wondering what I've done with those little... That's a big one, wasn't there? there eh? lace right let's see what we can make let's just go for it nice piece of lace on this use this as the base that's not what I wanted that's what I wanted oh, we really are nearly at the bottom now of this fabric tack I should have had it turned on its head shouldn't I oh, it's all right it's playing yeah, just a big piece of lace over that there. Oops. That's not that big, eh? <laughs> and I don't like that. I think it's been inked. Just make sure that with the Christmas Eve across it. Hmm. Just spotted some nice red. organs are tight we have a bit of that in as well absolutely yeah let's make a snippet like that are you going as well or not no I definitely want that don't know about the two words now any more um, words on it that's what I was thinking oh lovely oh you know me and this vellum at the moment so this is from the Christmas Botanicals kit let's have it on a bit of vellum tear it down a bit stick it on the back right come on that glitter oh you are bless you And a 
piece of this lovely red. Look at that robin on there, it's beautiful, isn't he? If the red wants to go underneath, it does. I'll put plenty on because it's a bit lively, this uh, organza. Let it freeze. Yeah. Oops. Right, what do we think? Do we think that's a bit much on there? I like it. Right, so this has turned out to be a journal card, not a not a tag, but that's fine. Be nice in maybe a big front pocket. Yeah. Yeah, now it wants some fancy red stitching around it, that definitely. And uh, yeah, maybe a bit more floof down the side. But for today, I'm going to have to call it a day and leave you. Um, thank you so, so much for spending that time with me. Please um, pop on and give me um, a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Um, chat to me in the comments. I will be back in a couple of days to answer them, if not before. Um, but more than anything else, have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you soon, guys. <laughs>